And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, despite the heavy rainfall currently coming down here at the station, things are beginning to wind down throughout the viewing area. Aside from this nice defined line of showers and storms across the northern half of the region, ranging from Fulton County through parts of Cass County, White County, Carroll County, even in the Tippecanoe County, that's where we're seeing that nice heavy rainfall from Battleground down towards West Point. This is all moving east throughout the northern half of Tippecanoe County. I wouldn't be surprised to see some of that back build a little bit further down towards parts of the southern half of the county near Corwin as well, but all together you can see that last line of showers and storms is all kicking east and the dry air begins to move in thereafter. That's all thanks to a cold front that continues to roll east throughout the Midwest, finally bringing an end to the chances of showers and thunderstorm activity that we've been dealing with. But still, Storm Prediction Center keeping a slight risk of severe weather across much of the viewing area, marginal risk, and I would not be surprised to see that tail back a little bit more as that cold front rolls further off to the east, seeing an end to any real risk for severe weather. As it stands right now, however, there is still a risk for some small hail, maybe some gusty winds at this point. We did have multiple reports of damaging winds throughout the viewing area, likely straight line winds. Didn't see much as far as rotation goes on the radar earlier today, but nonetheless, you can still see the rain coming down one drop there on our Renaissance camera, but heavy rainfall moving across the Lafayette area at this point. We had a high temperature of 66 earlier on this afternoon. Sunshine, if we were taking this Renaissance camera and flipping it further off to the east, you would see plenty of clear skies. There's sunshine off across the eastern part of the county right now. 64 degrees in Lafayette, winds from the southwest, temperatures across the entire region, those mid to low 60s. But things look a little bit cooler off to the west of us. 50 degrees in Davenport, 55. Des Moines it is 44 degrees right now in Madison. And that's the air mass that will be following this cold front as it drags further off to the east. Scattered cloud cover and primarily dry conditions overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. But there are additional rain chances in your forecast. Your snapshot forecast this evening seeing temperatures tumble back down to around 59 degrees by 7 p.m. 49 degrees by midnight. We'll bottom out at 42 degrees in West Lafayette tonight into early tomorrow morning. For tomorrow, a couple light scattered rain showers are a possibility. We have a weak cold front off to the north of us. That's going to bring some of that light chance of rainfall throughout the viewing area, especially tomorrow afternoon. For the most part, though, once that cold front falls through late Friday, early Saturday, we can start talking about drier conditions, but unfortunately some cooler conditions as well. Below average temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. We only reach a high of 56 degrees in West Lafayette, 54 degrees up in Remington, 58 degrees your high temperature in Crawfordsville for tomorrow afternoon. So Friday, 56, back down to 49 degrees on Saturday, possibly a couple isolated lingering showers early Saturday morning, maybe another a wave of light rainfall during the afternoon hours. For the most part, we remain dry. However, 49 your high Saturday, Sunday back up to 53, down to 48. However, on Monday, another round of low pressure swinging across the Midwest could bring rain chances that day as well. Tuesday, cool and clear, 48. Sunny, Wednesday back up to 58 degrees. Foreseeing chances of rainfall and some cooler conditions back down to 39 to wrap up that seven day forecast. Okay, Cameron, thank you. Yeah.